Cooking with the vegan zombie. Hey guys. Now if I'm marking my days off right, it's about time for the Super Bowl. What does that mean? Well, it means food, friends, and a great time. Unless, of course, your team loses. But I'm in the middle of a zombie apocalypse here. I don't have a favorite team. I don't even have any friends. We've had a lot of requests to see my take on pizza. Well, if you're one of those people that wanted to see it, this episode is just for you, and it's just in time for the Super Bowl. So the first thing we're gonna do is get started with our dough. Now, you shouldn't have too much trouble finding dough wherever you are. If for some reason you can't find vegan dough anywhere, you can refer to our pizza oil recipe and we show you how to make it. What I have here is a nice ball of pizza dough. I got some unbleached all-purpose flour to keep it from sticking to the table. The first thing we're gonna do is pat down the sides, get all the air bubbles out. Air bubbles are like zombies and you gotta smush them to get them out of your way. Or your pizza is gonna be full of craters. We're gonna start by getting all the air out on the outside and work our way in. Now you wanna go right into the middle, get rid of that big hump, that hump, that hump, that hump. Now you're gonna do this with your fingers, just to keep getting all that air out. Uh, it'll really allow you to stretch that dough and make a perfect pizza. Now you're gonna make the beginning of the crust. Now you're pushing down, you're still trying to get those air bubbles out in the crust, but you're forming a nice, wall letting your pizza really start to form okay now we want to start stretching it get your knuckles under it you have to work really fast because gravity's working against you if you hold it off in, two, in, in one spot for too long it's going to stretch out and get holy and if you really want to get fancy you can throw it up in the air and spin it just don't rip it now you don't have to use oil because we use flour but i like to add a little bit of oil because it gives me a crispy crust so i'm gonna add about a tablespoon spread it around We've got a nice, perfect shell. We're gonna throw it on our pizza pan. Look at that. It's ready to go. So one of you guys said that your pizza turned out like a big, huge Frankenstein pizza. Well, the trick is, you just gotta get all those air bubbles out. So when you lay your shell out on the pizza pan, make sure there's no little tiny air bubbles. All right, guys, we got our first down already with our dough. We're gonna do a little play action with some sauce here. Put all the sauce right in the middle of the dough and kind of work your Work your way in a circular motion all the way till you get to the outer banks. You don't want to go off sides onto the crust. Now we're just going to blitz through this and put all of our toppings on. Now obviously at this point you can put whatever toppings you want, but you know what? Tonight I want to keep it simple. I got a handful of basil here. I'm going to chop it up. We're going to sprinkle it on. I chopped up a half of red pepper. I'm going to throw it in a bowl. I'm gonna add about a half a bag of the day of mozzarella and just a little bit of the cheddar for good measure. If you don't have day of cheese where you are, try to use our tofu that we did for the lasagna rolls. Mix it all together. I have in here a little blend of garlic powder, parsley, and oregano. I'm gonna put just a little bit in there and toss it in. Now we gotta put it on the pizza. The last step before we put it in the oven. And take a little bit of the sauce we had left over, mix it with a tiny bit of olive oil, and brush the crust with it. Beautiful. This is gonna be a nice, tasty, crispy crust. Now it's time to put it in the oven at 430 degrees. Keep an eye on it, make sure that crust doesn't burn. Sometimes, the top will cook a little bit faster than the bottom. If you take a look at it, it's not quite crispy enough, the best thing to do Take it right off the pizza pan, let it sit on the rack, but you have to be really careful because it will burn very easily. We're only gonna leave it in for about two extra minutes. Now you hold your breath for two minutes. <gasps> all right, it's been about two minutes. 12 minutes all together. Our pizza's ready to go. Pizza's out of the oven, nice and hot, ready to get sliced up. Mmm, this smells so good. I can't wait to try it. Pizza night has been my favorite night for the last 15 years. I love you so much. Listen, guys. I encourage you to go out, make your own pizza, throw whatever toppings you want, and send us a picture. We want to see what kind of crazy creations you can think of. Now, 
If you want to see the Super Bowl of pizzas, make sure you check out my spinach and broccoli stuffed pizza. Once you try it, pizza will never be the same for you again. This episode was made possible by veganmeals.com, so please make sure you check those guys out. Don't forget to like this video and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. I'll see you guys next time.